Hey guys, it's Wendy, AKA Kitty Street. And today I have a, a small little Walmart haul. I went shopping again and got some goodies and I just wanna show you what I found. Um, with that said, I just would um, ask everybody, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please consider it because it does help my channel grow. And I do um, value everybody who has subscribed. And if you're a new person just checking me out, um, you know, please ring the bell, you know, send a like if you like this type of video. And definitely, I love you guys for commenting and sharing my videos. Again, I love doing this. And with all that rambling on, I'm just going to jump right on into this Walmart haul. Um, yeah, my son was out of shampoo. He says, if you go to Walmart, um, always an excuse to have to make a trip to the store, right? He said, well, you grab me some dandruff um, shampoo. Now, he gave me like a $10 bill. And when I went there, I picked up the actual um, dandruff name brand. I'm not going to call it out. Um, it was like $15 and I was like, what? So I actually, um, sent him a little, um, FaceTime video and said, would you be, um, in the market for the Suave brand of the, um, anti-dandruff shampoo? Now he had never used it before and he says, yeah, sure. Pick it up. This was $5 and 47 cents. Um, usually the Suave brand is on the cheaper, you know, end of the shampoos and the, the um, brands actually, but this one is the men's two-in-one classic clean, um, <clears throat> excuse me, anti-dandruff shampoo, 28 fluid ounces. It's pretty big um, for $5.47 compared to the actual dandruff name brand one. We all know who that is. Um, that was nearly 15 bucks for a smaller, um, bottle. Now, I don't know how good this is going to be. I'll have to ask him, you know, in the future, but this lasts him a pretty good bit, I would think. But yeah, picked up this Swab's Men's 2-in-1 Classic Clean um, Salon Proven Anti-Dandruff sh Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, yeah, for my son. So, grab that. I've got a few um, splurge items, which was one of the reasons why I went there. It's summertime, going to be here soon, and it's getting hotter and hotter. And, of course, I always love my ice cream when it, there's it's still frozen, <laughs> when it um, gets hot, I love to eat ice cream. And so, I'm trying to watch my carbs and my sugars, and I have already hauled this before, but I wanted to go ahead and let you know that this was actually um, $3.98 today. I don't know. I thought they were like nearly $5 the last time I bought them, but $3.98, so I went ahead and picked up a couple of them. This is the Breyers Carb Smart, and it has, you know, the little things. It's got 110 calories, five net carbs, four fibers, and three sugars. So it's not a, you know, considered a diet food, but if you um, want to cut back on some of your ice cream, this tastes just like chocolate ice cream. It is delicious. And of course, this is the chocolate flavor. It's just basic chocolate. Um, it's good until uh, September 8th of 2023, if you can even see that. But this was $3.98. And when, it, when I saw it was $3.98, I said, you know, I'm gonna go ahead, because they don't always have them in stock. And I went ahead and picked up the chocolate and I had, I did not have any vanilla and I had been wanting some vanilla. So I went ahead and picked up a vanilla one and it's the same thing. This one actually has four net carbs. So it's, a, it's frozen. I just got home from the store and wanted to do this real quick so I could put this in the freezer. 110 calories, four net carbs, um, four fibers and four sugars. Let me pull all that ice out of there. And this is the vanilla one and it's good until August 20th of 2023 so yeah i picked up this briars carb carb smart i think i called it carb max but it's carb smart chocolate and vanilla um 3.98 a piece and this will last me a long time i have a small little dish that i bought from the dollar tree eons ago it's a real tiny and and um someone had i, I don't know it says one serving on it and i will um when i'm really fiending for something sweet and i'm trying to be good Summer's coming. I don't want to, um, you know, blow it with with the sugary and, and very heavy ice creams. So I, I'll put it in the little dish, and it's wonderful. Okay, vegetables. I did get a few of them. Not many because goodness gracious, I always pick up a head of lettuce. I really should have went to Aldi. Um, I will. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to start growing lettuce. I guess this 
I don't even know, does it tell you how many, how many ounces does it? doesn't say, it's by Dandy, the only lettuce that I saw in there, um, product of the USA. It doesn't tell me how much it is, but I try to always pick up a hard, you know, one that's kind of hard or not just the fluff of the lettuce. And um, this was $1.74, oh, but I didn't want to go to another store. I, I purposely need lettuce. The last lettuce that I bought, I think it was like $1.47 at Walmart. Because I don't think I picked it up at Aldi the last time. I'm not sure. But it was still high. But this was $1.74. And I'm not going to let it go. Because the other one, I used it once. And, and I, I messed around and didn't do my, my recipes like I was supposed to. And it rotted. And I was just livid about it. So I needed some lettuce because I'm doing um, some, I make this chicken Caesar wrap. Like, it's so wonderful. It's just like the one you buy at, at one of the restaurants or even at the prepackaged ones. It's all made up with Parmesan cheese, um, the chunks of chicken, and then the Caesar dressing with the lettuce. So I needed lettuce for that. I also am doing a lot of salads in the bowls lately, so I needed lettuce for that. Um, we always put it on tacos, and I'm making, um, I've been in the mood to, lately for just BLTs, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches. So the lettuce is going to get used for $1.74. Guys, I remember when lettuce used to be 69 cents. Do you remember those days? Hmm. It's getting crazy out there. Um, I also picked up one cucumber. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just... Um, I really don't understand. Maybe it's just the way the crops are growing or the different types of, of cucumbers, but Aldi's usually had the huge big ones for like 45 cents sometimes, maybe 60 cents. Um, theirs looked awful the last time I was in there, so I didn't even look at them. But this one here was 63 cents for one cucumber, but I, I need a cucumber for my salads in the bowl, and I, I you know, I need that because that's part of the whole um, recipe. So I said, let me go ahead and pick up one of these for 63 cents. Thought that was on a kind of expensive side. I might have to learn how to grow, grow me some lettuce, cucumbers, and tomatoes, right? Um, I did get one fruit. I picked up these massive, I mean, look how gigantic these, these strawberries are. Can you see how big those are? This was the smaller one of them. This here is the Nature Ripe strawberries. Um, it's just a, it's, it's a 16 ounce package. Um, Farm Fresh, I'm thinking it says it's from CA is California, but they are massive. I mean, I can't even, I mean, when I use, eat one of these, I'm just going to need one of them for a snack because my goodness, they're massive. I, I was telling the lady in there, I thought, why are they so huge? And these would be great if you were doing um, like those dipped uh, strawberries and chocolate when you need those. You could never find them, but these are perfect for that. But I picked them up because I'm going to be making some strawberry um milkshakes um, with um, the almond milk that I have and the um, whip the heavy whipping cream that I use and it's kind of a, a you know a kind of a sweet treat and I can get some of my fruits in there too so I only picked up this one package of strawberries um, this was $2.54 um, you know that's about what it's going for these days okay did get um, finally picked up some bacon bits um, the only thing about it is the bacon bits were kind of out at Walmart and they had the real, real expensive ones, like for $5 for a little bag like this. But what I was getting at, this is the great value, which is the, um, you know, I guess one of the the Walmart um, lower price um, products. It was reduced sodium. Now, that probably is a good thing, but when you're on a, a low-carb diet, you need more sodium than not because you, you, you lose, like, your ketones and all that stuff. But I have never tasted the slow-sodium ones which I got to reading the package and it only said it went down like 20, it was like, it said something about originally 160 mgs to 120. So I'm, I'm hoping the flavor's still there. Um, they were $1.33 a piece because I hadn't been able to find them anywhere. I mean, look, and, and what I mean anywhere, I found them, but they were like the big, big, huge bags, excuse me, bags, and they were like 10 and $14. I mean, I'm talking about the massive ones that you'd need for like a party or something. Uh, with 100 people or whatever. But these right here will last me forever. I put them on um, my, I, have, I make a, a buffalo chicken salad, kind of like a knockoff, like the one that Dairy Queen with um, the buffalo tenders and also with just regular tenders. And I like to put them on. I like to put these on baked potatoes when I have them. And I just like to sprinkle them in my omelets now. They're delicious. So I got two of them for $1.33 a piece. And I hope the low sodium is going to be good. And I need probably need to lower my sodiums. Okay, I always, we have tacos at least two or three times a month. 
um, in our <laughs> house because we love them. They're easy to make. Um, I actually make taco salads. I'm going to have to do a, a thing where I, I'm, I, I need to buy, I need to find um, some of those little things that you can make the actual shell with. I, I might try to look for those and haul them. Um, but I make taco salads, I make um, enchilada pies, we make burritos, we make um, tacos all the time. And our all-time favorite sauce is this Ortega, which is, this one's the mild. Um, they do have medium and hot, um, but I always pick the mild. This was $2.54 as well, like the um, strawberries. Um, basically, it's 16 ounces. I just like the flavor of it. Does it, did I see what time it goes? It has a long shelf life. Um, yeah, it says it goes until February 13th of 2023. If you can see that at all, I don't even know. But I usually keep an extra one of these in hand. Now I will um, eat other, or you know, other taco sauces. I try everything, but my favorite is this one and I always keep it on hand. All right, I did get some more bread. Last time I did a Walmart haul, I did a different type of keto bread. It was white bread and it was delicious. But what I noticed about it is it, you know, it got, the flavor wasn't quite there, but it was $5.98 on that last keto bread. So um, my mother kind of told me about this. She said, try the Sara Lee um, Delight. Can you see that? It says 45 calories, which I'm not looking at the calories much. I'm looking at the actual um, carb count. And I I love this because it's multi-grain, okay? And, it, and it's flavorful. And, I, and she had it, and I tried hers, so it was good. This one goes until May 7th, so it's good. You know, I, I actually have learned to put these in the refrigerator once I open them up, and they last longer. Um, I'm trying to get away from bread, but I, I like toast. I, I'm doing BLTs. I'm making some tuna um, soon, and my daughter loves my tuna, so she, she'll probably make sandwiches. So it'll get eaten up, but it's 45 calories. And I was looking at the carb count. Now, if you balance it out, I thought it told you, oh, here it is. It's eight grams of whole grain and eight carbs per um, slice, if you can see that right there. Um, but I have had this and, and it was only two, excuse me, this was $3.48 because they had the white one of just not the multi-grain multi -grain for 288, but this one was 348. And I, I went ahead and got it because I, I'm trying to be better on my bread and I wanted I wanted a flavorful bread. The keto bread that I bought before, it only had five um, carbs per slice, but it was $5.98. And I'm thinking, um, yeah, it's nice, but this was a little bit cheaper and it's the multi-grain and I can use it for tuna, I can use it for BLTs, toast, whatever. So I picked up that. I also went ahead and picked up these La Banderas. Am I saying that right? La, yeah, La Bandera Doritas or something like that. But these are the carb count, carb counter street tacos. They're the smaller ones. I, um, they have, they say, I think I hauled this once before, but they're the keto, um, you know, if you're doing, following that type, type of, um, lifestyle. But the thing is, it says it has zero carbs. Um, I started looking at the ingredients and there is a lot of ingredients in here, but when you're trying to cut down on breads um, and you just need that texture, because sometimes it's just, you know, until you get to that point, you need a little bit of help. Um, these are great. I did pick up two of them because they were um, $2.42 a piece and these will last me forever. I'll put one of them in the freezer and I'll just pull them out as needed. But I make quesadillas, cheese quesadillas. I, I have put these made, um, the hot, the Polish sausage hot dogs from Oscar Mayer. I rolled them up and ate them like a little hot dog. I um, have done um, a, like a breakfast burrito when I wrap them up. Of course, I've used them in, with taco meat. Um, fajita meat and they're smaller and I just think that they're they're better for me and I like them the texture is very good um, there's 16 counts in there um, of these little street tacos and they say that they're you know no 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 carbs which is great now as far as calories they're they say they're 20 calories per serving wow I never even realized that if you can see that 20 calories so yeah a nice alternative for bread if you're going to go that route um, again that might be a little bit pricey, but I use it for everything. So I picked up two of those, so I'd have it on hand. Um, I don't know why I picked up this big old box of mashed potatoes, because normally I will do um, 
I had bought, you know, a bag of potatoes at Lytle or Little, however you pronounce it, a while back. And I make homemade mashed potatoes, but everybody's talking about these food shortages. And I, I'm one of those types that I do try to prep and keep my, my stuff, my pantry with quick foods that will last for a while. And one of the things I looked at was the expiration date. And this is good to September of 2023. So if, you know, the food gets scarce and we can't find anything, um, you know, these mashed potatoes in a pinch and you can flavor from, flavor them with stuff if you can get, you know, the butter right. And I put sour cream and sometimes I even put some with mayonnaise at some point. Um, and I've even made mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes with the, the French onion dip that I buy from Aldi. So you can flavor them up, they're, they're just as good. Of course, they're not gonna be like, you know, real mashed potatoes that you make from real russet potatoes, but these can go on the shelf and in a pinch, if needed, um, I'll have them on hand in case, you know, you can't get to the store and get your hands on um, the real, real stuff, okay? Now I picked up these um, for my son for his job. I personally would never um, <clears throat> buy these. These were like $15. <laughs> I was like $15 for some bags of chips and there's 18. And if you zoom in here, or do I have to do it? Can you even see that? I'm gonna read what this says because I can't even zoom. Oh, it's upside down, that's why. Okay, it says, all your faves are here and it has a barcode and it says, but some item counts will vary. So um, in the very small print, and I'm sorry, cause I, I don't have this, this is tiny, I'm, my eyes are going on me. You'll have at least one of each item featured on the packaging, but due to unprecedented supply chain challenges, see I'm already talking about this, it's all over the place about these shortages, um, the, um, the exact mix will vary. So this one here has um, sour cream, it has barbecue, it has the little crunchy Cheetos, um, that looks like the, the ranch Doritos and the regular Doritos, and then the chili cheese Fritos. 18 bags for almost, for oh, like it was like $14.97, and I thought, what in the world? So I picked up this one, of course, it's Frito-Lay, and that's for his job. Let me put it over here for that purpose. And he's already gotten into it, and um, I guess he didn't want us to see it. And then we picked up a second one with a different set of flavors. Um, this one says it's good to June 14th, um, 2022, which they'll be, you know, gone by then. It also has 18, and this is a cheesy mix. It has the Doritos, the Chili Cheese Fritos, the Puffs, the Sun Chips, and then the regular Cheetos, and it also is 18 bags. $14.97, and that one fell on the floor. I'm not going to pick it back up. $14.97. Um, my son uses those for his work and I get into them every once in a while. I'm not going to lie, but that's kind of pricey. I'm, I'm the type of person that picks up a bag of chips and is, if it's more than $2, I'm already screaming, but he asked for them. He got them. Okay. I did pick up randomly some water. Um, I did not, um, know that it was this cheap. My daughter uses this for, uh, mixing up, um, baby Zaire, my grandson's, um, milk and it's just i don't know if she gets this one I, yeah she gets this she gets also the distilled one as well but it was like a dollar 83 but this um great value um gallon purified drinking water that has a cap and um everything that i can put this in a refrigerator like a gallon of milk or whatever was 70 cents and i thought 70 cents so i bought there's another one over here in the bag. I'm not gonna pull it up. I bought three of them because I'm going to um, start. I'm not. I, I'm getting away from the tap water because I just kind of feeling something about that, and it's not tasting right these days for some reason. I don't know. So I've been buying these drinking waters, and I I usually buy, and I do have it over there, but I didn't pull it over here, and I'm not gonna bring it over this haul because it's humongous. But it's a 40. I might put it in my thumbnail so you'll know that I did buy it. But for a 40 count of the bottles of the Great Value waters was 348. But what I've noticed is when I put them in my refrigerator or if I keep them in my pantry, my kids will get them and there'll be 16 bottles everywhere with just a little bit of water out of it. So it's wasteful. And I use it for when I go to my other job, um, because we're working and walking around a lot and I'm thinking, okay, I need to have the water for me. So I'm gonna keep some in my vehicle, but 
I'm gonna start putting um, these waters instead of the bottle waters because I can fill these up if in worst case scenarios with the big jugs that you can buy. Um, once these are over, they have a cap on it and I can reuse them over and over again and get my use out of them. Plus I'll have some water here for the baby when he stays for me overnight. And my daughter won't have to cart those or go buy some when she comes. So yeah, 70 cents and the other water that's over there, I will try to put it in the thumbnail, but it's the big 40 pack. That's the 16.9 ounce bottles. I always try to keep water on hand because you never know if there's gonna be a shortage there's gonna be a shortage. Okay, we, we wanna be prepared. So I've, I've been picking up these. Um, I bought some, I hauled them on my last, one of my last hauls with Walmart hauls. Is This is the Clear American. This is the strawberry daiquiri. And at first I, I saw this sweetened and I'm like, oh, that probably has sugar and it probably has um, carbs, but it doesn't. It's zero everything. Do not know how this is going to come out or taste, but I do like strawberry flavor a lot. It does say non-alcoholic which I think is quite funny. They even had the mojita one, but I picked up some um, mojita drink mix at the Dollar Tree and I've been putting it in my sparkling water and it it's divine. So I didn't pick up that one because I already had um, a couple of those bottles that I want to use up. But this is a 33.8 fluid ounce um, strawberry daiquiri guys um, and this is zero calories, zero carbs, zero, su zero sugar. So this will be refreshing in the summer, you know, getting in the hotter weeks that are coming up and I will be purchasing a lot of these when summer comes. So this one was kind of a fun one. It's got the little, you know, I love this red, white, and blue. Um, it says red, white, and blue pop. And it has a little um, popsicle stick here. Don't know what kind of flavor it is. I hope it's going to be delicious. It just was a fun, fun flavor, same thing. It's by the um, Clear American Zero Everything. And I keep these in the refrigerator. I don't drink them from the bottle. I pour them into a little glass bottle that I got from Matt's Liquidation Center. And I, I drink these and it gets me my water and it has a little bit of flavor to them. So I thought these were kind of cute, strawberry daiquiri. And they had a bunch of different ones, but I only pick up like one or two of them because I can hardly, you know, it takes me a while to drink them all because I do drink regular water as well. And then last but not least, um, even though I'm trying to cut out these sodas, um, I did pick up a Coke Zero six pack. And did I, oh, I forgot to tell you, these right here were 62 cents a piece. Yeah, 62, I, was, I thought they were 68, but they were 62 a piece, 62 cents a piece. So pretty good deal. I picked up a Coke Zero six pack. And then my mother, she was with me and she let me throw these in here. We picked up her Diet Cokes because she prefers Diet Cokes over the Coke Zeros. Now, when I see these, they're four, five, almost $6 at some points because these are the bigger ones. These are, these are, I think they're the 20 ounces. I don't even know. I've been drinking them for months and I'm thinking, yeah, the 20 ounce bottles. So what I like about these is that I can put them in the, my refrigerator and I can drink like a half for one serving and another half. So they kind of last me. And I've been trying to do my little um, Spirigola sparkling water with it. And it's, it's decent, um, but um, I do, I was out. I had none left, so I just picked up one and my mom let me put hers in the hall for her, um, her Diet Cokes that she purchased. The reason why we go to Walmart to get these is because they're the cheapest ever. Um, sometimes you can get them like for $2.99 or $2.98, I think it is. But these were actually $3.28 for six 20 ounce bottles. And let me make sure they're 20 ounce bottles because I'm just sitting here saying they're 20 ounce bottles. Nope, they're not. They're 16.9 ounce bottles. But that's okay. It's like a big water bottle, like a regular if you bought a water. So she gets the Diet Cokes there and I pick up the Coke Zeros because that's what I like. And for $3.28, guys, it's a lot better than almost six bucks at Kroger and these other smaller places that I've been seeing them. Okay, guys, with that said, I do appreciate you hanging into my video to the end. And if you, again, I'm going to remind you, if you have not subscribed, I'm I'm asking you to please consider. And thank you guys for um, checking out my channel. And until the next one, take care. Bye.